Hi guys, so this is how we left the pizza oven yesterday. Now after removing those branches, pressing down on the netting, you can see this nicely hardened. In this part, I used some not fully mixed cement mix and it didn't really adhere to the base layer. So we'll need to get this stretched off. That's also some pieces left over here. But today I'll show you the technique that I used to get this netting nicely smoothed out on the dome because as you can see, in some parts, it's sticking out too high. So the technique is really simple. You take a pair of needle nose pliers and do these quarter twists of the wires around the area that you're sticking too high, effectively shortening them. And this way, the part that was sticking out will lower, fitting nicely to the dome curvature. And you repeat this in all areas that are too high. Of course, you do this on the dome part. If you have a concave part, of course, if you did the same, you'd pull it up even higher. So in those areas, as you've seen in the beginning of a video, you'll need to press down on the netting so you can prop it up with some branches, bricks, whatever. Then you can cover parts of this concave part with cement, wait for that to harden. And afterwards you can remove a weight and finish off smoothing out the remaining area but as you can see, we're continuing smoothing out the net for now, just working area by area. And once we get a nice large patch done, we can proceed with covering that with another layer of cement. Okay, so that looks about done for now. And now for the cement. Nicely covered. Just a quick view, as you can see, those branches I mentioned before, pressing down on the concave part. Here are some wires sticking out on top, but don't worry about that. We'll get that covered in another finishing layer, but that'll be tomorrow. And tomorrow has come. Let's take a look underneath this branch. The netting is nicely secured, held in place by the cement. Just need to smooth out some leaves and other stuff that got stuck to the cement. Now let's remove a branch from the other side. So we'll just need to smooth it out with another layer. Although, as you can see, the weather is not that well. It looks like a storm is coming. So instead, it's a great time to open up this package. Let me just place the camera on the tree someplace here. Okay, so we can do a proper unboxing now. A wind gust tipped the camera over. So let's do a close up of a package. The long awaited cast iron oven door. I was able to snipe one on an auction, quite cheaper than it normally costs in the store. Although some dust collected on it, it's a post exposition unit. The glass window also got shifted, but that's secured with two screws. So we'll get that fixed in no time. Okay, let's close this up and let's see how it fits on our oven. The bottom width seems perfect, although the top part is quite a bit of uh, oven opening we'll need to remove. Okay, let's put this away. So 
So it looks like I underestimated the dimensions a little bit. It does fit on the bottom, but since we have a different curve, but top part is about, I think, an inch, inch and a half on each side, which we'll need to chisel out. But for that, I'll need to grab some tools. And as you can see, there's a thunderstorm coming. storm pest someplace to the side although it's starting to rain a bit nevertheless in the meantime i managed to chisel out the corners fit in the doors still need to secure them on the sides here so i'll remove them in a moment take them home because of course we don't want these to disappear overnight as you can see here on the bottom we need to add quite a bit of cement because this part was curved inwards nevertheless looks really cool adjustable air inlet maybe i'll also drill a hole here and add my thermometer i bought on aliexpress up to i believe 500 degrees so it'll be just perfect for this pizza oven and we'll be able to continue with our remaining part of net reinforcement well that's probably gonna be for next weekend won't have time throughout the week now so see you in a bit with this pizza oven furnace or rather oven what do you call a garden oven like this so that's it for today be sure to like share subscribe and see you again soon ah, went to the side huh it's raining quite heavily but that's pretty good at least i won't have to water the tomatoes gotta run to the car now Ooh.